What's going on guys? Today we are here at Jetty Park. We are all the way at the end of the pier as you can see. It's 5.30 in the morning. Just got out here. Um, trying to get some flounder today. So I'm trying to catch some bait right now and then hopefully we can free line the bait and then also um, I can just throw a double dropper rig with some gulp and some different soft plastics and hopefully we can hook into some flounder. Uh, I just right here, right on the rocks. Oh, manners, yeah, really. Just a um, double drop, two bucktails here, one ounce weight. I got bucktail Berkeley Galt and a uh, bucktail with a just a cheap off brand. Just casting it right here as the tide's going out and just bouncing it along the bottom. size on them 12. 12 I go I think he's 12 oh yeah yeah all right now I can leave <laughs> yeah. yeah he's that yeah if you catch another one then you two can have dinner yeah yeah that's a little fat one too yeah oh, that's a healthy one a little fatty yeah it's tiny but hey Man, he. That's, that's, that's my wife's fish. Really? Yeah. yeah, I don't catch too many of them. They're out there. Come on. He inhaled that, man. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got it late though, I didn't get the bite. Uh, and they won't say what you catch it. Yeah, yeah. YouTubers are crazy. Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, back here at the house. It uh, wasn't a great day on the water, but we got that one flounder. I caught one small barracuda. Um, didn't get that one on film, but not a big deal. But it was nice. We went out there targeting flounder, got the one flounder. So not a lot of meat on the one flounder, as you can see. Um, that's a fillet from the top half, and then the fillet from the bottom half. So not a lot of meat for two of us for dinner. So what I'm going to do is just whip up some um, flounder poke, just kind of as an appetizer for dinner. So what I got here, I got some green onions. 
um, mango, avocado, mandarin oranges, and we've got soy sauce, sesame seeds, and sesame oil. And that's really all you need to do. So to start out here, I'm just going to dice up this flounder. Um, typically I just trim out this middle vein right here on flounder. They're not bad, but I just trim it out anyways. And then you just kind of want to trim it into nice, uniform, even pieces here as best you can. The fillets aren't square, so obviously not going to be perfect. But just nice, small, bite-sized pieces. Like so. And I already trimmed up all the other ingredients, so you guys don't have to watch me cut everything up, because that's boring. No one wants, me, wants to watch me cut up mangoes and avocados. Alright, that's the top fillet there, and then this little guy here, off the bottom. And I really like flounder raw. I think it has a good texture, like a redfish and a trout. Don't really have the texture for it. Um, but I think flounder is good. Um, flounder and pompano are probably the two kind of inshore ones I, I like raw. So, pretty simple what I'm going to do. Just I got a bowl here. I'm going to put the diced up flounder here in the bowl. And you can always feel free to take some of this and just dip it in soy sauce. You just have it straight raw with soy sauce. That's always pretty good too. So sometimes I eat it like this, but we're doing poke today. So, so I got this. I'm just going to add a little bit of soy sauce. And a little bit sesame oil, not too much, it's strong stuff. Mix it up. I'm just going to do this by taste, so I might add a little more once we get the final product, but I just kind of, I don't want it like super soupy in here. I just want enough to coat everything, maybe a little bit extra. Kind of like what we got, we got a little bit extra running around. That's about good. Like I said, we can always add more. And then, um, so once you've got that, and just take everything you've got diced up and mix it in just the amounts you want whatever it's, you know it's all your preference so got some green onions mix some green onions in I got some mango this isn't a super traditional poke obviously um, I like I like it pretty fruity I like some mango some mandarin some avocados stuff like that so I like to have a lot of fruit mixed in with mine that's just my preference. You can really make it any way you want. Mango, I got avocado, diced up avocado. It's always good. And then some diced up mandarin oranges. These are just the canned mandarin oranges. Really add a bit of sweetness too and just a little different flavor so and I can tell I'm gonna need a little more soy sauce it looks like I didn't add quite enough take a little taste here Get some flounder maybe a little mango there it's actually pretty good just a touch more soy sauce Good mix there, and then just a little bit of sesame seeds to top it off. And you can add garlic if you want. Um, I made this one, like I say, I made it kind of fruity, so I wasn't going to add the garlic, um, but you can if you want. So, based on your taste. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's pretty good. Super simple, and um, I really, I really like poke. So whenever I get a flounder or a pompano, it's like, man, gotta make some poke. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of catch and cook, a little different thing. But um, if you haven't tried making poke before, try it. It's awesome, and you'll love it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.